Sarah has Down syndrome and struggles to blow the leaves off of dandelions. <laughs> and it just shows her like... <laughs> 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 with some <laughs> like music like dumb. Dumb, she dumb, also loves dumb, she, dumb, <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> she also loves peanut butter sandwiches, even though she has a peanut allergy. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, her face <laughs> is swollen up like a <laughs> bee stung her. Welcome back. I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. I'm back. 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 I got done taking. I got done taking the uh, the slimiest. And it really made me think, and I wanted to bring this uh, question up to you guys. When you guys are in, uh, you know, Tom, I mean, you were saying this. One of the, my, I mean, and I agree. One of my favorite times of part of the day is is taking a. Shit. One of the few breaks in the day you get when you go and you sit down to take a poopy, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what is what is your guys's favorite kind of poop to have? I like. Uh... I mean, you know, it's obvious, but got to have one that just f***ing slip and slides right on out with minimal fuss. And uh, Oh, you think so? Yeah, just like, but a, a, a high volume. I think that's important. I think quantity is important to a man. So, if it I, is. you know, if I do it like, is. if I feel like I went through it and I look back down there and there's only one solitary log, I just kind of feel like a cuck. So... It's got to be. It's got to be enough. No, I, well, I, I'm but, on the complete no, opposite if, spectrum. I I love a nice uh, solid log. Yeah, if it's long. Oh you, yeah, if really it if it log, again, it comes long, down right? to volume. So whether it's segmented or like one long one, I'm just talking about like a regular Snicker right. size log. It's not enough for me. Oh, I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know. I here's you the thing. Like it's more about the journey. Poop? It's no, no, no. I don't like. The, I I I like a nice solid log as well. But I like it. I like one long one. Because it feels like almost like, and it's almost, it's one of those ones too that comes out so clean through the journey that's like you barely even have to wipe. It's almost like an old lady mm-hmm. dipping the corners of her mouth with a napkin. That's what you have to do with your asshole. I like, I mean, I like And that, I like it whenever it, it's not smooth. It's not smooth. It looks like a monkey brain. That's my favorite kind of poo. A monkey brain. But dude, you're dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, there's dude. enough. A monkey, a monkey brain can't. That struggles coming out though. That, but like, that's, that's what I like. It, it, it doesn't like struggle. The no, no, no. It represents. It, yeah, it's it's swinging from vine to vine <laughs> in my asshole. And, but the thing is, is that if if the the journey of that to me is is nice because I like being able to sit there and it's a nice therapeutic process, right? And I'm sitting there, and it does take a second. You have to do a couple of the. <clears throat> A little pushes, right? Just a couple, because you have to work for it a little bit. I think anything good in life, you have to work for, right? So as it is coming out, you can really feel it coming. You're like, oh, there it is. And then it breaches, and it's not painful. It's not a painful shit. It breaches, and it slides out. And I mean, when it's done, you almost feel like, it's almost like wiping an SD card. You have a fresh new SD card. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We, I mean, you, you're locked and loaded and ready to go. You know that your inside you are totally you, you empty. You think about it all day, a little oh, yeah. bit, oh, yeah. or at least for a while. You know, I almost contemplate what meal it is, because then I, because <laughs> then I'm thinking, how can I replicate this experience forever? And I'll just have that meal forever. But I, of course, you know, you can never. You know, you're chasing, you're chasing dragons at that point. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a real optimization of fiber and water when you ate. Yeah, how much you slept. It is. It is a special thing. It should be appreciated. Oh yeah, sure. a nice ridge one. I tell you, the most unsatisfying one is whenever you sit down and it's just like diarrhea and it's just like dumping a bowl of water into the toilet <laughs> and you're just completely <laughs> empty. I don't mind those. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll do you one better. So I've, I've been having my There's something religious about those <laughs> hemorrhoid problems, and he told me you have to drink more water and have more fiber. Yeah. So I like really started drinking a lot of water and having a lot of fiber and now it's not diarrhea but it is it's like a pile is how i would describe it you know it's it's like it's like a it's it's an open cement mixer and i make a pile that Dude, fills that's the crazy. Bowl. You oh, i hate that than like anyone and the doctor's like oh boy you got to get those levels up huh <laughs> yeah what the hell <laughs> <laughs> doc, doc, I'm starting to go blind with the amount of water. I'm gasping for air. I'm drinking too much water. It is. He's like, get those numbers up. Get them up. Damn, bro, bro, yeah, that's fucked. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, my uh, my monkey brains were too brainy before, and I've been like spotting <laughs> with my hemorrhage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've been fucking spotted. You're on your yeah, fucking literally, blood moon. Literally, dude, oh, it's I fucked like up. That. Don well, you still have it. You you still have a hemorrhage. Miserable. Yeah, no, they don't go oh, away unless you have a pregnant operation. You got all the symptoms: yeah. spotting, hemorrhoids. No. Uh -huh. So wait, does does the hemorrhoid just like crawl back in your asshole whenever it's not like present and painful? Because I think I had a hemorrhoid for a bit and I didn't there for a while. It was fucking disgusting. It was like a pulsating. I think, I think it, it was like a pulsating yeah. Jolly Rancher, and then one day it was just gone. It gobbled back <laughs> it up by your asshole. Up. I'm a, I, I went down with my fingers. I poked it a couple times. It was fucked. I mean, it was hard. <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. insane. Yeah, I can do that too. I'm, I'm asymmetric now, which makes me <laughs> sad. <laughs> there, was, there was a time when it was symmetric. It must have been. <laughs> there, there was a time like, when it was perfect like synchronicity. Years, you know? But no yeah. longer. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a little guitar no, pick I and I could it, strum at it, like a bass guitar string. <laughs> That's what I, I think got. it's like when when your butthole puckers, it like pushes out and then it kind of goes back in with everything and then it flares up and gets worse. I'm pretty sure they're just there forever. Like if you had one now, it's it's just shrunk, but it's still there waiting to attack you. That's kind of awesome. That is metal. I like that. Yeah. Is it just because the whole thing too is like if you sit on the toilet for too long, that can spread. Can irritate it, right? Like that—that that becomes a symptom too. Like, oh, you're sitting on the toilet too long. That's why you have a hemorrhoid. Yeah. So he told me I, I have to limit to like five minutes. <laughs> so I started setting a timer. Oh my god! For five minutes. Oh, that's that's rocket. torture. That's prison. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So it's such Every a nice time for me. It's so one hours yeah. such a nice time for you. I'm like, oh boy. That's what uh -oh, it feels I like. I've got to stay yeah. here forever in this fucking cozy closet. I try to I try to sit in the bathroom until I feel guilty. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my deal. Until after a while, where you're sitting there, you're like, "What am I doing? I need to like we I need to do something else." That that's the when I know I'm satisfied with it. And then when I go Close outside and I sit on sleep. anything else, it's never a, ch a chair is never as welcoming as a toilet. You know well, what I mean? It's the, it's the Pavlovian. Your your brain knows that the toilet comes with another kind of relief, whereas a chair is simply yeah. a hollow sitting instrument. Ironically, yeah, it's meant for work or whatever. Yeah, yeah. whereas uh, yeah, toilet's meant for relief and spiritual contemplation. <laughs> I do. I, I feel like I've I've contemplated several lifetimes on a toilet. <laughs> I've had some I've had some tough conversations with myself, mid shit, like some real some real diabolical thoughts <laughs> <laughs> while on the toilet. I mean, some real heart to heart. You know what's fucked up too, though. As soon as you leave the bathroom, too, you kind of you leave those that 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 baggage in there. Oh, is that a feature or a bug? So I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is almost like re-entering a quasi-religious state when you go back in. It's like all all the fucking baggage and demons are there waiting for you. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that could ever be comparable to it, in my opinion, is like the hyperbolic time chamber in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's how it feels. Like I feel like I spend eons there at times i come out transformed completely fuck like a fucking new person that's what it feels like every yeah, time you do a month yeah. of mental you work the little trunks walk walk with vegeta yeah when it opens yeah i bring my child in there and we have deep deep <laughs> conversations he has a tiny toilet and i have a regular toilet and we just sit in there forever yep yeah it's very nice cool how, okay, so that would just suck how, to be how often when you're taking a shit do you, do you find yourself you know opening the browser Type in P, and before you know it, you're, you're not only not only do you have a shitty asshole, but you've got a rag full of cum in your hand. Dude, uh, aren't you afraid? Uh, I, and maybe this is a retarded thought, but I I've been worried about pairing those pairing those two things. Why? Like psychologically, the best place to do it. You you've you've just shit. Yeah, you when you smell, when you smell, you're, smell you're, you're still you hard. stewing in your shit smell, and there's still shit under your you go, ass. You, 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 you go to it. a local baseball game, you go to the bathroom, you just get hard immediately <laughs> walking into the bathroom. <laughs> what the hell? You know what I do? It, it, it's funny, you said a rag full of cum as if it's like an oil worker taking on a handkerchief and just coming into the handkerchief. Clown, clown, I like the uh, amount of fucking rag. Anytime, this is absolutely disgusting, and this is, I'll be honest, we need to have a section of the podcast called TMI, because this is what this is right here. I, whenever I jack off on the toilet, I never come into like a handkerchief. I come straight into the bowl. <laughs> this one time I had shit in there too. And it was just like a mixture. It, oh it looked like down. wet ramen noodles. It looked like wet ramen noodles <laughs> <laughs> swimming around a bowl of shit. It was Bro, disgusting. That is, that is and then level. I do the shame. 
I do the I do the shame I do the sh- I do the shameful flush where I make direct <laughs> eye contact with the entire time as I watch it leave. It's like oh, it's like almost saying goodbye to a good friend. It feels it feels it feels hard hard to see it go. It also is like it's kind of the same thing too. And it's like you look up some like weird porn shit too. And after you're done, it's like that post nut clarity where you're just like, what am I doing? Like you're watching like bits of shit mixed in with your cum and stuff like that. And then it has a weird psychological effect that like did I just shit that out? Did, did someone have their way with me? I don't even know. That's so funny. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's interesting. It's an interesting methodology. To, to look it's at it's the an mixture. interesting methodology to just break no. down and fucking shoot. Cause No, no, no. That, see, now that, that's where I was going to stop you. See, you. Because you have to yeah. stand up and point your erect cock into the toilet bowl, <laughs> oh, and it just slides out your cock. So it's like my, my shitty ass that I haven't wiped yet is like up in the air, <laughs> and I'm pointing my hard cock into the toilet, and it's that? like, and then you've also got to aim like through the fucking hole so you don't hit the, the top seat. Oh, it's not. It is not. It is not healthy because then when I come, I, I hold the base of my cock so it doesn't come out too quick. And then I that's when I get up and then I it just like a fucking shotgun blast. Just like <laughs> just decimates the porcelain. Go, goes goes in. And then I get really nervous. I get very nervous. Well, once it TMI. Right, guys. But this is my personal house. So I'm not. No, this isn't around anyone else that isn't, you know, me. And I do this. You, you do this in every I, toilet. How many of your toilet seats are splattered no, in your fuck? If no, I got no, no. a black light. Just one. I have, it, it's a ritualistic <laughs> it's toilet that I do it on. I feel uncomfortable doing it anywhere else. I know. You, you lived here for a minute at the office. I did not do it at that. It has liar. to be a personal that toilet. That is not a, per, like that is a communal toilet. Every day now. No, no, no. <laughs> if I did, well, I feel like in a way, I, a I, I would feel like I would feel too much guilt and I would tell you. <laughs> but I, you know what's the thing is Dude, that sometimes I'm just going to let you know it was really eating me inside. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can oh, we talk? So you have spare I made, I made the toilet, the but not the hey guys, can we have a meeting? Can, can we have a powwow downstairs real quick? Yeah, I, I, I was so <laughs> confrontational about the table because I was actually just coming on the toilet and I felt too, uh, I felt too embarrassed. <laughs> but the, uh, but uh, what's fucked up is sometimes when I point it down, it, I, it, it happens on the inside rim of the bowl. And then I have to make sure and watch it to make sure that the cum goes down with it. So no one else comes in and then just they see there's a lot like of cum, cum on the side on the, of the toilet. Yeah. Like a snot rocket. Just a big fucking hubba bubba <laughs> piece of gum just right there on the side of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> See that's so your your whole uh, methodology is interesting because it gets around a problem of my methodology, and my methodology is obviously like a civilized tissue catch, but the you can't. Yeah. The problem is you don't have three hands, right? So you got one hand for the tissue, you got one hand for the phone, and then like, so the problem mm. is you have to kind of like put the phone somewhere, and there's not really anywhere to put it, yeah. and I'm not gonna get a bespoke like phone stand that I fucking carry into the <laughs> So funny. That's like if you had an eye level door. shelf, <laughs> they drilled it. So, so the problem is, is, you have to so like a little little headphone stand yeah. next to you have it. Your, you have cable. specified Apple headphones, <laughs> Bluetooth headphones, for that whole thing. No, yeah, yeah fucking AirPod Air Max for real, with different colors, so you don't accidentally mix them up with your other pair. <laughs> <laughs> but but so yeah i mean like the problem is it's either yeah just giant c's written with sharpie on the side <laughs> or like a hentai sticker yeah like a little these are my cub headphones <laughs> no one else touched them ah <laughs> oh, shit i took my cum headphones to the gym today people i was so embarrassed but yeah you so it's either like whilst because you, you, you've got the build up you know it's coming so you've either got to like Put the phone like yeah. on the floor, but still try and like crank your neck for that eagle oh, eye view. Oh. Yeah, or, you gotta be able to see it. You or the, see the it, real though. danger game that I've that I've played many a time is you like balance it on top mm. of the the toilet roll and against the wall. But obviously, toilet roll oh, spins. Yeah. That is, that is it a spins. gamble. So the phone just just like yeah, gravity. Seventy percent. Gravity of the time, can be so cruel. Seventy percent of the time, the phone just <laughs> clatters to the floor. And you're like, no. Yeah. No! And it's like, eh, eh, and you're like, oh, 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 you're like trying to play. There's too much things happening. Then it exactly. ruins the experience. Yeah, and you're pissed I, off. I don't like know. It's, I've never hours. been able to figure it out, really. So I've just dealt with a, a bad existence, I guess. I have the uh, I have the case wallet. So I'm able to make a tripod. Oh, out of that's it. next. See, I don't have any case on my phone. Maybe uh, that's the issue. I yeah. need a case with a big retractable tele- like periscope <laughs> stand. <laughs> it's like <laughs> when I bought it. It's like the, it's it's like when I bought it, the guy knew exactly what I was buying. <laughs> so, for. Uh, and in the case, huh? He's like, so uh, be sure and shave your legs because it's going to make a, the easier traction. Your hair actually is very slippery. Grip. Some more grip. More grip on the deal. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I see the the whole. Po- I was wondering how the pointing down thing could work because obviously that seems really difficult, but it makes more sense that you're like it is. turning around and fucking. Well, it's just squeezing it's, your glutes. it's easier to just flush it and and be cleansed of your sins. I feel like that's how like Roman Catholics back in like you know po- like medieval times would have done it if they had like nice toilets and shit. They would have secretly just pumped one out. They didn't see it, so technically they didn't sin, and then they would just flush it down. Versus if you catch it in a tissue or anything like that, I mean, I feel like it's impossible to 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 not open it up like a fucking chimp and look at your look at your make. I don't need to see the off yellow hues uh, of my uh, own oh, make. Uh, I bet you do. I bet you look at it. You, you open it up like it's a fucking origami thing, like like a fucking <laughs> origami little, <laughs> like one of those things that thing. yeah girls would make yeah, in like yeah. third grade. Open it up with your fingers like that and be like, oh my god, whoa, yeah. I did that. It, and then you and, and then you type in like is yellow cum okay into Google. Do you do you think uh, you know how like old kings <laughs> and stuff used to have a royal like wiper? Do you think? No. Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. The, no. Yeah. The kings really? used to have like a guy who would wipe for them. The, like, That's wi- so the, like, awesome. just like wipe yeah. their ass, or whatever. And it was like a coveted position mm, because, it, like, it, you get the ear of the king. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't even know what kind of crazy plans I have. Two ply. Two ply, please. <laughs> But it, it does make me wonder if. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. The title of this. This is fun. It's called Groom of the Stool. That's the name of the. Uh, of the position, <laughs> I am groom of the stool. That, 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 that. You will treat me with the appropriate respect. Yeah, he goes to nice restaurants and stuff. Yeah, everybody respects him, but nobody wants to shake his hand. His well, around. it made me. It yeah. made me wonder if he also has to do the other <laughs> kingly duties in the toilet. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, jack him off. He's like Probably. either catching, uh, catching the car. He's jacking him off, or maybe he has a whole different bet, person for that. I, I bet he jacks him off into a nice fucking, a nice, a nice suede a nice blanket. A nice velvet handkerchief. Yeah, a nice beautiful handkerchief that just, uh, it, it has like, it has like tassels that are, ha- like have pearls around them and shit. Well, okay, you're the king and you're trying to appreciate your luxuries afforded to you as the king. So sure. You just, so you just jerk off and have him like hold it where you're going to shoot. You know what I mean? Because you would be gay so. to have him touch you. That's sin. I don't think but they would think it's little, gay. I'm the king. king. How could I be target, gay? Therefore, you know? anything I do is not gay. <laughs> I, but to be fair, with all this royal shit that involves oh, this nice. kind of shit, whatever, I always think of Spartacus. Yeah, that's just fucking, where my It's just like through. as casual as having it's a conversation. 2000s, 2000s fucking dog shit series, Spartacus. <laughs> Whenever I think about history, that, I immediately that, that go every, to I feel like that every kid saw because there was just nothing, but it was basically porn. So every, I feel like every kid had it like, yeah, I got the DVD because it's kind of like 300, kind of. Bro, there are so many funny nice. fucking, it. it's so low rate. Like, uh, do you remember the one where they like build up this Coliseum fighter for a massive time? And he's this like big giant albino looking retard who's like, nah, nah. And they make the black, like, uh, slave trainer f- guy fucking fight him. You know what I'm talking about? No, uh-uh. Okay. Well, I'm going to find him, and you're all going to have a good hearty chuckle. I wasn't allowed to watch that. It was, like, 2001, two there around, right? Right after Gladiator? No, no, no. I want to say it I was I thought like they made that. that because of the success of Gladiator. No, I think they made, literally made it because stuff. of the success of 300. It had a very 300 feel oh, to it. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it was like 2009. No, it had a very student film having just watched 300 feel about it. Yeah. No, no. It was right, not on the same quality or anything by any means. But I, I just remember like, <laughs> I think me and Tom have talked about it. It's like that one where it's like the guy who owns all of the slaves, the gladiators, Batty whatever. Artists. He's like talking to his wife and he just like walks over in his like jacuzzi and just starts having sex with this girl. But he's like still conversating with his wife. <laughs> About this, he's like, we have to nice. put them in a test them so we can have a good <laughs> tournament this weekend. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> ah, she had maybe ah. the greatest tits. She's of like, all sounds time, by the good. Way. She had maybe huh? the greatest tits of all time, by the way. The, <laughs> Which the one? Slave in the bathtub. The wife? No, not the wife. Oh, her. I see. Just like literally, like it's a core memory. It stands in my mind. As maybe the greatest, the greatest of all time. <laughs> I, uh, I remember I couldn't get past the fact that because that actor was in the Mummy, he's like the bratty brother. 
and Mummy, the Brendan Fraser Mummy movie. Um, oh, he sucked. Yeah, and he's like this little Weasley guy, and he's fucking all of these like super hot chicks, and I could not get past that. I was like, what the fuck is going on? That's pretty funny. And then the actor That's who true. played Spartacus, I'm pretty sure he died of cancer, so they had to get another guy in there too. It's so funny. Like I've seen, Always. I've seen um, clips of like people like, oh, you're Spartacus or whatever, and it's like, yeah, okay, you're Spartacus. Like after two seasons in, and like, what like is that? Oh, I found him. Yes, I found the big fucking retard. <laughs> Here we go. Le legendary shadow battles spartacus versus Her oh it's hurt he's supposed to be hercules I think that might just be a name oh okay yeah you don't need to watch 10 minutes of this dog shit but <laughs> it's so funny god the action looks so terrible it's like so sluggish and stupid oh he's getting cut up makeup's pretty terrible too i just i, I remember like i had the biggest crush on that fucking <laughs> well, that like i don't know i don't know how to describe her it's just a bit of a a C word. It's like, there you go. I saved Justin a censor. Just a bit of a C word. Here we go. That prissy bitch who shows up at the start um, in that guy's tent. And she's like, hello, soldier. Take me. <laughs> That's a very unappealing picture oh, for no. her. No, no, no. This fight scene. I'm still That's watching the end gross. of this. This is, looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a show. Video co-pilot blood effect. Yeah. Uh, like His head comes off. Looks like a like Freddie Wong, fucking action yeah. scene or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Except Freddie Wong knew how to do it back in the day. Freddie Wong what was on top to of the world. Did you ever like his videos? Ah, uh, just watching all the rocket jump videos. On this video. Uh, yeah. I mean, who didn't? Who didn't like <laughs> fucking Freddie Wong? They're awesome. They're awesome. Yeah, I was like the yeah. Who? I like boobs. Cool. You guys like boobs. Yeah, uh, you guys like boobs. <laughs> 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 do you guys like do you guys like blue eyes white dragon yeah. <laughs> do you like pussy yeah 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 <laughs> awesome lunchroom talk with the boys fuck yeah you guys like you guys like machine Where guns wrong? oh my god <laughs> I went I went to uh, like a painting a little painting thing um, with my wife yeah. whatever and it was like just like a room of shit of like, but it had a bunch of kids at one table. We were sitting right next to them and they, they were, they must've been like, mm. I don't know, eight year old boys, nine year old boys. And, uh, it kind of reminded me of when you were at my house, Hunter, and we had that, those kids like, hee penis, hee 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 Oh yeah. But it was just like, I don't know. It was a real funny listening to them. Cause it's all obviously the same as it ever was, but drenched in like oh, Gen Z yeah. lingo and stuff. I don't know. I found yeah. it very funny. Oh, they fucking that's that's lit. Yeah. Huh? Penises. There there is something there's something charming about it. About like that, you know, kids it, it, you know, buddies doing that. It's like innocent, but at the same time I was like about ready to crawl over that fucking fence and bash in their skull. Yeah. That's appropriate response to like, that. Shut up, <laughs> like dude. shut dude, it. it's you not know? cool to say penis, okay? Dude, honestly, I'm done. <laughs> We've I've had enough. Can you imagine Thanks. you're just chilling with your friend in the pool, like tr being being a bit juvenile, saying penis because it's like makes you feel like cool, and then some fucking giant man climbs over the fence with a fucking <laughs> mullet. <laughs> 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 okay, first off, it wasn't. It, it's, it's, it, if they were confined to themselves, it would be completely gay, gay different. Gatekeeper t-shirt right? and your flip flops are falling off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt rips on the climb over my big fucking stretch mark stomach. That'd be horrifying. The kids like ah, 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 freaking up. out. Oh, so you guys keep talking like that. I'm gonna rip off your fucking jaw from your face. The uh, no, the um, they were intentionally being loud. They were fucking with us. Oh, you was think it was it was directed? It, oh, definitely. Yeah, because why else would they be like? They they were like. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> They're like yelling. I knew it because, and then we were like, we were like, oh, okay, it's funny, and we didn't say anything because we were being respectful. But after what I didn't tell you is when I left that day, I knocked on their door and I fucking beat the shit out of their dad in front of them, and I said, if you ever do that again, I'll fucking come here and I'll kill you both. Is what I said. And then you immediately fell in the pool, face down, and drowned. 
<laughs> yeah, I drowned. And that you, you've just been talking to the ghost ever since then. My ghost. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim. Drown him. <laughs> four four drown feet of water. Flip over, you're just stuck on your front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the water and taking all this water into my lungs I'm like <laughs> oh god bless god bless i'll tell you actually i've got a little funny tidbit for you boys um mm. i i fucking just straight up decimated my garage door i i reversed into it full speed <laughs> oh god, oh, why no fuck dude when? what'd your landlord say uh he, he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I just fucking kept it shut and we're hoping for the best. Oh, no, I just, uh, I fucking, you know, I got a lot on my mind and I pressed the stupid fucking garage door opener button and silly me assumed yeah. that that would open the garage door and I didn't look behind me. Instantly. So I just threw, threw, <laughs> through rote memory, oh, I just pressed man. button, put thing in reverse, like hit the fucking accelerator much too hard because it's like my fun little like... <laughs> I bet it's open by now. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's like, like smash into the back of it. You do like to like whip around too. I, yeah, I was just like, yeah. Whenever you, yeah. Just fucking white snake on <laughs> in your charger. <laughs> Here I go again on my own. <laughs> I've, been, I've been saving this, this knowledge for so long. I've wanted to share it, but I've been waiting for us to record because I knew that you guys would fucking roast me. But yeah, I just... <laughs> Just straight into the back row. I was like, oh, God. Don't I have enough on my plate? <laughs> that, that sounds like a me move. That's something yeah, that for real, me. dude. Well, that's Very the thing I, I did. I equated it with you as I was thinking about it. I was like, I bet this is what it's like to be done. Because, like, yeah. literally my what it feels my mind like was a thousand done. miles away. Yeah. I just wasn't. I was so preoccupied <laughs> with my, like, thoughts yeah. somewhere else. That I wasn't like a, aware of my uh, surroundings like normal. So I just fucking reversed right into were it. Were you, when you were reversing into it, were you also wondering why the neighborhood kids didn't like you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would have also been a thing that brought that together. Everybody like, hurts me. What in the world? Yeah, so. What song were you actually playing? I don't know. That's the other problem. I had my fucking. Almost, black almost black any shit. answer from your wife. Well, that's the thing is. I My second mistake was I was wearing uh, AirPod Pros with noise cancelling on, so I didn't hear the garage door not open. God. Oh, yes. You are, you are actually a part of the problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I don't know why, but that, makes, that infuriates me when I see people driving with <laughs> well, their that, fucking I mean, headphones in. I think that's jail time. Well, that's you can set them to, like... I hope your landlord... I hope you, I hope you go to prison. You can set them to have the noise come in, you know? I might, yeah. I'm mm. not so I had to... Look, I'm sorry. I had to take a call, okay? And I wasn't just gonna go and plug in okay. my thing to my car and that been sensible. <laughs> <laughs> I had to had to have it right into my skull. Oh, so, okay. So you were on. No, I was. Yeah, you, you, you were being a Wall Street, Street bro. Prepping, yeah. You're you, you're being a Wall sell, Street, bro. Sell right now. Go for sell. Tom. Trade. Trade. <laughs> <laughs> sell. Sell. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> sell it all. So that was three thousand dollars worth of damage done in five seconds. Oh Fuck. no! Oh, did God. you take a picture? Yes, I did. But this is they don't like. Yeah, but can we see the picture? You know. Yeah, can really, I? Let me, let it doesn't put, look I, I anywhere as bad as I'm making it out to be. So the fact it costs so much. I'm curious to see. Is, it's kind of bullshit if you ask me. <laughs> What's this fucking country <laughs> coming to, dude? 3, did you just have to replace? I can't just the whole reverse door. into my. Did you tell yeah, your landlord? I'm not a fucking cretin. Oh well, I mean, I, I can see you like. What did he say? You know, he was like, do you want to pay for it or make a happen. claim on your car insurance? I was like, oh, it's a good idea. Guess I'll try the ladder thing. <laughs> <laughs> I well, guess I'll do is, the ladder. How does that Shit. work? Does your rate go up? Shit. Fucking Probably done. Garage? Probably. <laughs> as if I don't have enough on my plate. All right, hold on. Let me Sorry. fucking. Sorry, man. I, I found the picture. It's, it's really not that bad. Well, it's three thousand dollars. <laughs> I hope I see it. I hope I see it in the foundation of the house is like cracked and like the the front of the house is like tilting forward. All right, kind of disappointing. That God, you didn't, also, like, the, delete the fucking the, the delete the link you put. I hate seeing this guy's face. <laughs> <in here. laughs> 
Justin <laughs> needs it, bro. I can't delete it. Also, this girl, this picture you have, she looks like a fucking donkey. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I'll get in that's that what, ass. <laughs> oh, that's oh. her tongue face when he chops his head off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so, well, yeah, sending it to, send it to uh. DJ. Send it to Hunter. Hunter. No, we're not. We're not doing. Uh, you're sending it. You're not doing it. In the I general. People to like know where I live and shit. <laughs> How like, could he know like where you live other from person the inside in of your garage? Because there's uh, my trash cans in the background with some sort of code on it. The, the serial number thing. I yeah, that works. That is pretty funny. It's not devastating, but it is pretty funny. I do wish you just breached through the. Well, yeah, I mean, garage. me too. It would have been way funnier. And, you, and your music was blasting so loud that <laughs> anybody outside... Oh, my God. It fuck. goes from muted to full I still have not seen this picture. Huh? It sent it to... Uh, oh, you only texted it to me. You didn't send I texted it to Hunter as well. In, uh, oh, just in individually. His... Oh, did you... Yeah. Did you just... Te right. Oh, you texted right. it. I Sorry, I thought you were doing... The yeah, if anything, this is more depressing. I know, $3,000 for that. It's, yeah, because it's not devastating. It's just like kind of fucked up. And you just well, now, like well, now, I have, now I have to do the fucking cuck walk every time and open it by hand and close it by hand. Oh man, what I like, what I, what I, what I like, what I like about the picture too, is that we get the back of your car and you're just like, that's the thing about the Challenger <laughs> that I like is that it's just not even affected at all. Like the back looks it's great. True. I think <laughs> like, check. Like, I was like, oh, God, yeah, looks brother. like you're still just like what a fucking mint, mint body still. You want to know? Do you want to know the funniest part of this whole story? When the uh, what? when the person the adjuster came around or whatever to take a look at the damage to see how much it would cost to fix the door or whatever, he was like, "Man, like wh what happened?" <laughs> I, was like, I said, "I said, oh, dude, my wife reversed it." <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Awesome. God, hell yeah. You absolute coward. <laughs> you fucking coward. <laughs> it was good. It was great. Was she even there? Probably, uh, yeah. yeah. She, like, not in oh, the car, but. Not in the car. No, just, no, no, you know, no. Just yeah. in the house. It's just funnier if she's not even on the property. Oh just no, he didn't. The bus. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> yeah. see her. Obviously, uh -huh. she was locked in her room as God intended. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't you God, dare cross my story. Don't you say that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> don't confront her about yeah. this. <laughs> It'd be really funny if you just like walked in your house. You're like, where are you going? You just like walks in your house. He's just like, it's just true. Oh, dude, it was. It was, Did this uh, happen? Actually, I think I freaked him out a bit at start because, like, the fucking arseholes here, when <laughs> the landlord is always like, oh, they're coming at nine. And I've learned since then that what that means is they're going to come, like, anywhere from an hour to, like, an hour, 30 minutes beforehand. Oh, really? Mm. I mm. got up. I set my alarm for 40 minutes before nine. And that motherfucker still <laughs> rang the doorbell, like, on my alarm. And so I, I was like, oh, fuck, I don't want this guy to leave and not do this thing. So I just, like, quickly put on a fucking <laughs> pair of, like, pajama trousers and With not even any boxers. So my fucking cock outline is pretty perfectly there. And I just went down in just those pajama trousers, no top, nothing. I just opened the door to this, like, 20-year-old Mexican man, a uh, child. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, come in, dude. He's like, hey, Shh, come, come in. in. It's right through here. I'll show you the damage that fucking bitch did yeah. to my car. Oh, speaking of that voice, because every time I hear that voice, I think of the lesbian super soldier <laughs> from and yeah. just like that. Did you see they wrote her out of the uh, out yeah, of the you series? Said it to oh, me. Really? And their their reasoning was like it's yeah. not because uh, the fans don't like her. <laughs> Let's first say it's not because of that, right? And I'm like, it is a hundred percent because everybody fucking hated that character. Makes no sense at all. So I'm wondering if they're just going to completely ditch Miranda going to is LA she, with she, her. Oh, Miranda left too. Miranda whole like thing left was her, her husband idea. and everything. The, the, that actress's idea. This whole thing is her fault. It was. And it was. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Is that? Yeah, Miranda, really? the actor, the actor who does Miranda from uh, supposedly. All right, that they uh that they were adamant about putting that in or whatever so now i'm wondering if miranda the actor if she's just going to leave the show too and if they're just going to be like oh yeah they're in la kind of like how they're doing with samantha like in samantha's like you know she's wherever the fuck she's at i'm pretty sure she's in la and she just like has been writing notes 
to Carrie or whatever. So they can be like, yep, Samantha actually still likes Carrie, even though the actor fucking hate, they hate each other. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, just a little interesting tidbit. I feel is perfect to insert here. The, the lesbian divorce mm. rate is obscenely higher than the regular divorce rate. Just saying. How much higher? I mean, the regular divorce rate's 50%. What the fuck is lesbian divorce rate? Um, It's significantly higher. I don't have the numbers on stats uh, on hand right now. I don't have the numbers right now, but it's significantly <laughs> okay. higher. Okay, that 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 feels this feels <laughs> this feels not 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 no, really they, uh, viable. Do have like in community memes? Like, All right, Don. Uh, I understand he's your partner yeah, here, but you can't. pick and choose your battles wisely. From from the community, reputable <laughs> from sources, lesbians. From real lesbians. <laughs> they, there's a meme like first lesbian <laughs> from my real first lesbian. lesbian marriage or something is like just a couple months long. Like, I think they get married and divorced all the time. It's because they're, like, not built to deal with each other's fucking mental warfare. And I would just, I would just like to say, God. I would just like to point out God. also that gay men couples have the lowest divorce rate of all. So there is something yeah. there. That's all I'm saying. That's so awesome. I will say gay men seem much happier than everyone else. Well, yeah. on this is also, this also something like that. else I've heard about the gay community is often gay marriages are open <laughs> and they don't have a problem with it. Like you, you can be married to a dude, and you just both like fuck a bunch of other guys, and it's not a big deal because there's no emotional attachment. Well, well, you know, if that's the if that's the case, if you're able to get your buttons off where you oh, can, then listen no to wonder. this. Savage. The lesbian divorce rate was seventy eight percent in twenty sixteen. <sighs> wow. Is our what about that statistic? What about, what about what our was, team, hey, well, Tom? Hey, it was the, tr hey, it was the 50, Trump administration, yeah, yeah. so could you blame him? <laughs> your, Hunter, to your point, it did go down to a paltry 74% in 2017. There and is, then it went back we up go. to 75% in 2018. Our, um, <laughs> no! <laughs> our hetero marriage is still 50-50? Yeah, I would guess it was actually gotten a little worse. I think it's, it's always been hovering around like what, like 55 or something? It's always been a little over half. I feel like that's half. what they said when we were kids. Like half though, of all marriages. I think it would be even worse now. You'd think it would be higher, but I could be wrong. Oh, I probably that's true. I, you're probably right. It is worse now. Pe because you know what the thing is that people cannot stand like the people's attention spans are too fucking short. And now, if there's any kind of difficulty, people just like they bail. Like that was that was the thing with like my grandpa, and my grandma. I don't think my I, I'd be curious to see how if how many times my grandma was like, "I'm leaving this fucking crazy son of a bitch," right? Probably never. Because she was just like, well, this is the way it is forever. <clears throat> well, also, you know, she probably couldn't had no other options. That was the other. Uh, th that was the other True. benefit of a, yeah, of a different in, time in is room. you know zero options. For Actually, me. I think it's I think it's been going down apparently. Or wait, maybe that's one other thing. Forty to fifty percent of first marriages end in divorce. Then a second, or yeah, that, that makes sense. The divorce rates have gone down slightly. It's interesting. Because it is. I uh, I've been drinking this. Not the caveat too far, but been drinking this Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Pretty good. Oh yeah, pretty it's, good. Just want to say it's if you guys Mountain Dew Zero, it, it's, it's. I think it's literally zero sugar. They don't. They don't. They're not very fun with the names. Yeah, it's literally just Mountain Dew Zero Zero Sugar. I went to the Dr. Pepper Museum a couple weeks ago. Of course you did. <laughs> what, what my girlfriend wanted to do with her mom. But I, I had a nice time. It was a cultural experience. I didn't realize that soda, most sodas that we drink today, started as like crackpot medicine. Oh, options. yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, By, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the whole thing. Snake oil salesman's yeah. type shit. Yeah. yeah. Drink this, it'll make you feel happy. <laughs> That's what they said, but it was just it sugar. Was, uh, <laughs> like, I do more, feel wired. More than and sugar. I feel sugar, like sugar and morphine and cocaine yeah. and fucking cocaine yeah, and yeah. black tar yeah. heroin and meth. And you're like, wow, that's going to help me sleep. It is good. What is this called? Jolly Rogers Funny Cream. <laughs> you're like, cool, I'll have a bottle of it. Perfect. And you're like buying it from a guy who like, I don't know, he has like shit and mud all over his hands. <laughs> he just has like a suit on. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. I mean, everybody knew that that's the whole like Coca Cola thing. But literally, all of them. I guess they thought that fizzy water was better than regular water. Like it. Well, it is everything. Well, it yeah. does. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess they're, they're not. They're not wrong. You're a, you're they're a not fizzy wrong. Water boy. 
Liquid oh death yeah, and, uh, ever since Top G one? put me onto it. Top G put you onto Liquid Death? No, nah, I'm just joking. He's he always goes on about fucking sparkling water or whatever. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm my own right. man. I discovered it in like, parallel. Does he not like sparkling water? I discovered water? it in parallel with him. Okay, we're both responsible <laughs> for the big upswing in teenagers drinking fizzy water. That was a what? thing in Europe too. You could have like order of water in Germany and they bring you like a bottle, charge you five euros for it. Nobody likes our American tap water without fizz. I'm not, I'm, I don't like sparkling yeah, water. I'm not, a big, oh, I'm not a big sparkling water guy. Sparkling I like tap. Love it. <sighs> it's delicious. <clears throat> it's not delicious. It's, uh, I it's also like drinking watched, soda without the guilt. I watched Saltburn last week. Have you seen that, Hunter? Yeah, the Barry uh, Kogan movie. It's whatever. funny because it, it like... It's very confirming of the American stereotype of, of rich British guys. That they're all like yeah. weird and gay <laughs> and degenerate. Yeah, they're all they they have no identifiable sexuality. It's, they're they're just kind of like fucking. <laughs> they're all sexy and they're all just like, well, if you're, I mean, we'll fuck if you want. Like, there's, it's like you can't really tell. Like, they're just always like in. They're all usually drunk, high, or having. I'm sex. just gonna jerk you off. That's usually. Well, I guess I'll just jerk you off. I guess I'll fuck this grave. <laughs> But down to like, <laughs> down to like his my, weird. My best friend died. I'm going to fuck his grave. That's um, what he would have wanted. The the one that was really over the line is even his weird like math nerd friend. Is like when when he when he kind of breaks up with that friendship to go with like the other sexy guy best friend. Oh yeah. Metal. He's like, he'll just discard you when he's done with you. It's, I, yeah, was I was like, like oh, okay, this guy's gay. What is this, this, what is this show guy's gay too? About? They're all gay. Can you, yeah, can you help me out? What I'm the like, fuck are you two talking about? I'm saying, we, we, we they, they, they had like, we have one class together. He's like, we've hung out one time. He's well, like, no, he just they, discard they you. Go, He's like, why the fuck would I want to hang out with you, dude? You look, you're, you're fucking. Well, he, he, does he, do they, does he actively hang out with him or is he, are they just kind of there at the same time? I think, I think they did until he breaks into the cool crowd. Oh, all those I, guys. See, I see, I see, Because, yeah, they're all just a bunch of... But, you know, maybe, Tom, do you feel this way also about the upper class in England? That they're all just kind I'm of trying weird to, and gay? What the fuck are you two talking about? The it's movie, a movie. Saltburn. Saltburn. It's a big popular movie right now. So it's it's a bunch of... What the of, fuck is it? It's, it's about, like, kids <laughs> in Oxford, like college yeah. students, and they're all just, like, upper class, and they're literally all... Gay. It's about or, a guy like, who is or not or whatever. Like, yeah, it's it's about a guy who is a snake, basically. And the whole mm -hmm. thing is that is that he is. For he, him. I mean, it's, I mean, he's it's, not gonna fucking see it. Who gives he, a shit? Tom likes. Yeah, I can't it's wait to watch movie. all these toffs fuck each other on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's but it's about this guy like kind of infiltrating this family and stuff. Blah blah blah. All this stuff. It doesn't matter. But the, but it's, it's just it's well, just like well, a new. No, what it is? It is a quick quick explanation. It's uh. It's gay British parasite. It's yeah, literally just you gay it's, British well, I guess parasite. It is. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's like it's just another one of those movies about like classism and stuff like that. And well, yeah, yeah. That, that's probably that's probably a good that's probably a good comparison. Honestly, gay British uh, parasite. That's basically all of our ruling class. Am I right, boys? <laughs> parasite is at least uh, parasite's what? eccentric in, in the in the best ways, Word. but it's like everything about Saltburn is so fucking over the top. Like yeah, everybody is gone. gay and like sexy and does drugs and everybody's rich, all this kind of stuff. And then like even and the poor kid British. is also like the poor guy who's Barry Cogan. I love, I love him as an actor, but even he looks like a fucking like weird sweet potato, like, like a buff sweet potato, like kind of retard guy who just like has sex with all kinds of people. You're like, who, why, who is having sex with this guy? And he's like, he's like oddly jacked. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. It's, he's, it's he's, he's like shredded, but he's also portrayed as like an autistic nerd. Yeah, he's like, I'm and such so an outcast. I'm like, you're fucking yoked up. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. He's like, I wear, so I, just, I wear plaid. Out of curiosity, like, why are you guys watching this if it's just a bunch of gay English aristocrats? Well, well I didn't you know, know me. what it was going to be. My, I thought it was like my, another A24 entry. Yeah, my like my thing weird, is that it's an A24 yeah, yeah. movie, and I will watch he's an A24, any A24 completionist. Movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And also, I like Barry Cogan a lot, so I I wanted to check it out. Just he sounds like more propaganda. Trying Barry to bring Cogan was the guy. Did you ever see Chernobyl? He was yeah, he was the guy like in Chernobyl. Shoot the dogs. Banshee of Irishiran. Mm -hmm. He was in that. He's he's just not, uh, killing of a sacred deer. 
uh he's just in a lot of good shit that i like he's just really really good actor um but i i have a bad feeling that he's going to turn into like a timothy chalamet where he's going to be oversaturated and then no one's going to want to see him in anything anymore which sucks because usually he, he picks a lot of good movies but i don't know this one felt kind of like um <clears throat> i mean it's it's like a it's it's okay i mean like whenever i got done watching it i was like yep yeah, you know there you go but i i feel like he probably could have done something else yeah it didn't didn't quite stick like i didn't think the ending was that surprising no it, well it's like you saw like, the yeah, twist duh. coming from a mile away too. yeah i was like well no shit and it's like mm -hmm. this whole big monologue he does at the ending you're like yeah like no no shit what well, you know like okay what do you think know. the movie was trying to say about class is it, or I don't like think it was. I don't think it was trying really. to say anything about classism. I think it was just like, I think it was trying to. It's a movie that's about like you are trying to sympathize with this character, even though he's a psychopath, and it's like it's just like le legitimately evil person, kind of thing. And I think it's just yeah. like because the whole thing with like Parasite is that there's actually something to be said about classism and like how classes treat each other and how like they're perceived and like what people will do to get to those things versus this guy is just a complete sociopath who's like manipulating these scenarios to benefit himself which is still an interesting thing but i didn't like how they're like and he he wasn't even typing on his computer in the coffee shop he was just yeah you know, that jumbling was, that was excessive. which i was like so much i was like that. It was just like i was, who fucking I was like cares? do we really even i was like could he not just like not be typing like does he actually have to type gibberish into the computer <laughs> <laughs> or could he just type? i'm like it's, it doesn't take a lot of thought to just be like even if he was just like ha 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 this bitch doesn't even know what's coming i'm going to like you would be able to type <laughs> that, that. Been, okay like it's like, like that. <laughs> it's just <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny but yeah, yeah it kind of it feels like yeah a mixture of like parasite and gone girl was what i would say yeah say and gone girl was in this movie so there you go oh yeah she's the mom that's right yeah which gone girl yeah. rules i like i like david fincher a lot but um yeah i don't know um it was okay i mean like i, I think it's a worth a one-time viewing maybe but yeah yeah I, I actually i didn't like it that much i, I don't know why i said i think tom would want to watch it it's, no, it's, I, I just, it's, I just, it would be entertaining for me for Tom to watch it and then discuss the portrayal of gay British Oxford boys. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like fucking like chick porn, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, it is, it is, and I, it's, it's still like, um, like I said, I mean, I still think it's like, uh, it's like well done or whatever, but I don't think it's all this like fucking hype it's getting right now. I think it's just because of like how sexy and like chic it is. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be a movie people are talking about next year at all. Like, it, which, which is unfortunate too, because like I said, I love Barry Cogan and like films like Banshees of Ira Sheeran, I think are going to be talked about forever or whatever, but um, Still yeah, see that. it's so good. If you guys haven't seen that, you really should. It's really fucking good. <coughs> I especially, I think you guys would love it actually. It's the same guy who did In Bruges. If you guys like that movie. Oh, and I remember watching it, but I don't remember anything about it apart from like the fat American guy having a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. In Bruges rules. I Banshees of Ira Sharon though is like hopefully I'm saying that right. I it's much better. I mean, I, I like In Bruges too, but I just think Banshees of Ira Sharon. It's just a uh, really fucking good movie. Really, is it really about good. friends that just decide to hate each other. And you're saying me yeah, one of the like friends it. wakes up one day and he's just like, I'm not going to be your friend anymore. And then the other friend is just like, well, what the fuck? Like, why? And it's kind of like him trying to find out why. Why do you think me and Don yeah, are going to like, like yeah, it Yeah, so you, you and Tom would love this movie. <laughs> no, no. I think it's just good character. It's like a good actual black comedy. Like, it's very dry. It's like very, very satisfying. <laughs> Extremely, like every character serves a purpose in the movie, which is nice. And like the acting is great. The script is phenomenal. And it's like all based around this. Um, it's all, it's all Irish. Um, it's based off of like, I think it's like some kind of, I don't, I don't know Irish history enough, but I looked it up after the film because it was pointing to something, but it's all centered around Ireland. I think in like 1920 or something. And I think around that time there was like some kind of like war happening in Ireland. Um, and I think that the, the relationship between these friends is something that like is significant to the history of that war or whatever. Oh, it's based um, on a true story. I think, well, the war is not the friends per se, but I think That's it's like the funny. friends are an outlet to talk about this, like to talk about this world event. 
whatever. From the trailers and stuff I saw, I just I just assumed it was contemporary, and there's just guys in Ireland that still dress like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought the same thing. No, but yeah, like no, it's a, a yeah, it's like no, a hundred it, year old. Yeah, no, it is 1920s. I'm pretty sure. Piece. Yeah, I did read that they got like an old lady in that village to knit all the sweaters. Or no, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, like, it, I, I like shit like that, too. I mean, it was, like, one of the things where it's, like, uh, all Irish cast. Like, everybody was uh, just, like, local type shit. It's just kind of cool, intimate filmmaking kind of thing. I don't know. I always have an appreciation <clears throat> for that. Versus, like, we got this, you know, studio in L.A., and we all flew out for... You know, like the behind the scenes, I fucking hate that when actors are like, yeah, so we flew out there and we were there for, I don't know, two months. It was gross. Um, but we did it anyways. And you're like, fuck off. God. Right. Versus them all but. being British. <laughs> yeah. We should, um, <laughs> we should do, I, I'm going to advocate for it again. We should do the Love on the Spectrum watch companion. Oh, God. I want to, I want to pal down with you guys about the Love on the Spectrum. I'll I'll I'll, t- I'll test that episode, but if I'm not digging it, I'm not gonna keep pushing through with it. it that feels like I mean, we could yeah. we could just watch the uh, the first episode of the new season as the bonus episode for Patreon, and then obviously people can put it on and do the fight companion thing. Oh, is that then, how you, is <laughs> that how they that. do those? You like watch <laughs> and talk about it while it's on, or do you talk about it after? Yeah, the fact? I mean, what's the better format? I mean, I guess you could do either, but like, yeah, I suppose if you do, here's the thing, right? If we have to add the added fucking ball lake of, oh, okay, Step. everyone, did you watch your episode this week? It's not going to happen. No, it's yeah. just we not. Could, we yeah. could just watch we can, together. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we can barely, it. like, get together for a podcast, let alone uh-huh. <laughs> extracurriculars. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, d- I'm down with that. We could uh, we could do that. Yeah, okay. I think that'd be good. At least one episode and see, see what's up. But um, I think that you also have to do stuff like it's going to make Justin's job a bit tougher. You have to put like timestamp, obviously, so people can like pause and unpause where you are. And you know what I'm saying? Right. Or we just don't pause it. We just let the web. I mean, do, 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 do you have to, I, I think just, I mean, I don't know if you want to go through all that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I, think I think just, just watching the, watching the episode and just having each person's perspective on. and r- riffing on it, I think is funnier. And you can just like, Makes it, you know, and if people want to watch the episode, they can, but then that way they're not like, it's not like a beat for beat kind of thing. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to hear that, we'll record that tomorrow. So sign up to the Cream Crew Patreon and creamcrew.com forward slash Patreon. And it's just are we doing, Netflix, Is it going to be the so. newest, the newest, newest one? Or are we starting from the, the literal beginning? What do you guys want to do? I don't give a shit. It's the same thing every season, right? So, I mean, I can let's start. Just, I can let's start, start with the newest, newest one. Yeah, because we... Dude, I... I think we, me and Tom covered the first season, like on episode 101. Oh, dude, dude, dude. About. So, so yeah. that, that, man, that uh, video of that autist talking about vaginal muscles I sent to you, Hunter, <laughs> must yeah. have meant nothing to you. That, did you Because you haven't it? watched any of it, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I was like watching, I just thought it was like a cringy guy on online. Yeah, no, that is one of the people who was on the show trying to like find dates and stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, that's okay. that's the potential, you He's know, candidate the, the show offers. One of the heroes. Yeah. Of the show. Yeah, you just <clears throat> like him because he went to fucking Ren Fairs and tr- like tried to <laughs> bang the chick dressed as a fairy. <laughs> he and I are and one then he got the dumped at the Ren Fair. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I, I I see clips of it on TikTok and it's like it's just it disgusts me when I look in the comment section and people are just like they're so cute. It's like it's this exact same comments I see on videos about like turtles in the ocean with like plastic straws with up their fucking nose. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I want to help him so bad. You're like, cool. That's, that's exactly what's so funny about it. It's like they, the filmmakers would never admit it. No one would ever characterize it, but it literally is just kind of uh this like voyeuristic. Look at the animal in the cage being silly. You know, well, that's the thing, too. And including it, 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 like it's, it's bullet, music, it's bulletproof, yeah, the though, cartoon music, you know? and the fucking it's, it, it's, uh, it's bulletproof, though. The whole show is because then they're just like, okay, well, so you're saying that these people can't be happy and find love? No, no, like, no, well, no, I'll, that's not I'll what give, I'm saying. I'll give you one from episode one, which we'll watch tomorrow. This guy goes on a, bl- a speed dating thing, right? And yeah. you have a little piece of paper where you fill out stuff about the person you just talked to. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And he doesn't know that you're supposed to fill it out after you talk to the person. So he's sitting oh, there asking questions and like <laughs> checking no, 
paint note like on his paper with the girl and they're they're having like shots of her like glance down at the paper nervously and back up at him right and they let him go through uh, this whole routine and then after he talks to he talks to two people before the producer says you're supposed to fill the thing out after they leave so well, it yeah it's like it literally it's, it, is like let's get on camera you being a retard it's manipulative we'll, fucking yeah, yeah. exactly because no, definitely someone's like oh hey he's filling it out before and they probably went to like go up there and like a guy grabbed him by the shoulder like, and he's like, no, no 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 just <laughs> just just let him go let's see how this plays out we should this yeah it's very it's very fucking, fucking like idiot. planet earth right yeah, we can't it's, interact it's with the animals yeah we, yeah. We, yeah it's unethical no, no, no. to stop the animals you have to let nature behaving naturally nature play its course <laughs> His, his brain's all scrambled because I gave him four geometry problems to solve before this started, so he's really upset. <laughs> you see, like, you see planet Earth, an elephant wandering in the wrong direction in the desert, following the tracks backwards, and you know it's going to die, and you're like, can't the film crew step in? Yeah. Like, no, that no. would violate our ethical oaths. It's the same shit. Yeah. It's the same fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, tra- they, tra- they treat these autistic people in modern society as wandering, bra- like brainless fucking animals who are just like, hmm? dude, Whatever. I guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee that way. is that is the rationale. Oh, 100 percent. Or some yeah. some version I, of that. Yeah. I also take umbrage with like sometimes they've done it a couple times now. They've paired someone with Down syndrome with someone with like autism. And that to me oh seems God, a bit fucking dude. weird. Well, well they, because like <laughs> it's so funny. It's like two different disabilities, and and the yeah. producers of this thing fucking yeah, thing it's are pretty much the same. Yeah, well, they're thinking like, <laughs> it's like all what right, it feels like. You're, they must literally be making the assessment. You're about this retarded in this way, so well, you'll be a good fit for someone that's about that retarded in this completely. You're other gonna be way. a great fit for Miranda, <laughs> isn't that right? She's like, guy. yay. Well, yeah, do you think the autistic guy, like, has that moment of realization where he's like, wait, uh, they say I, I basically this, is... I'm this disabled. I'm, I'm, I'm down to your job? God. Yeah, yeah well, they, pretty they, much, buddy. And the, they, there's this guy that talks really rapidly, like, that's his autistic problem. He talks really rapidly and doesn't let the other person get the word in. And they <laughs> sit him across from a very quiet, introverted girl with Down syndrome. And then oh, it's, no. it's, it's like just this is gonna be pairing perfect. up the worst <laughs> pairing. Uh, right. Wait, Roll how's the that cameras. the worst pairing? That's, Roll the that cameras. Doesn't match his, that, that doesn't match their energy at all. She's going to be like overwhelmed. Whatever. Yeah. He's like, no, she, she, she sits and, she, and listens nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets what they want. She doesn't have to provide any of the social interaction, and he and he gets to just fucking blast I someone think, with I words. Th- I think what Don's saying, and I think I'm agreeing and too, semen. is that they have like a file, like a fucking X Files cabinet full of these <laughs> fucking aliens that they're like, perfect. He's like, he talks fast, and she can't comprehend anything. Oh, perfect conflict. <laughs> Americans love conflict. Is what it feels like. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. I know it's, it's, it's just I, it's, so it's, mean. And the, I, it yeah, does, they, it they does feel the mean. little cuts and of here, them here's like the thing. clearly here's not the thing. keeping up. You know. Here, here's the thing too. We say a lot of horrible shit on the oh. show. Especially we throw on the word <laughs> retarded a lot. And I don't feel good about it a lot of the time. But it's you know it slips out because it's fun to say. Now here's the thing. We don't we don't actively have people use forms to sign up. To make them look like clowns on a goddamn show for normal people to like goggle at them, you know what I mean? It's just like yeah, in the, that's in the name where it's like that's actual manipulation, and it's fucking. Like, oh, this is all forward know. thinking, and this is like be, because the the logline of the show, like the, the intent, is clearly let's humanize people with these disabilities so that yeah. people stop thinking them of them as less than human. But let's they fabricate feelings, emotions. Let's fabricate but, conflicts to make yeah, it's, them look it's like even totally, worse than they are. It's totally lost. And you're right. Yeah. It's it's really what it really is is just a vehicle to laugh at them and and their disabilities. Like and and stuff like that is just smoking gun. It's just so it's just, Especially so when, here, and here's the thing too. It's fine when shows do this. If a show does this to like something where it's like my 600 pound life, those big fat sure, fucks well, did they, it to they, themselves. They, they, they you have know what I mean? Autonomy, These people dude. have They're not no like a child yeah, with no exactly. Choice. They didn't well, choose that, or, to be like, You're just born. You're born that way. Yeah. Versus yeah, like no big choice. fat fucking idiots who are just like, oh, I just <laughs> I get depressed sometimes and I eat. 
You know, it's like some of it is also like the things they pick to highlight too feels so sometimes feel so just like unnecessary. Like, why do you have to pick that? They'll be like, Sarah has Down syndrome and struggles to blow the leaves off of dandelions. And it just shows her like <laughs> <laughs> with some fucking like music like dumb. Dum, she dum, also loves dum, <laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> She also loves peanut butter sandwiches, even though she has a peanut allergy. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, her face <laughs> is swollen up like a fucking bee stung her. In eight K, in eight K, so you see every blood vessel like exploding underneath her cheek. Yeah, she's still trying to blow out. She's just still trying to blow out the dandelion. <gasps> 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 And there's a fucking, there's a 15 person camera crew with lighting and, and, and sound equipment and cameras who are just watching this person die on camera. Ooh, use, use the NDF, the NDF lens. Let's get, let's get We're some Use the, anti, the anti-UV lens. We're going to need, it's a bright day. She's like a Her giant and wrinkle shit. forehead is reflecting too much light. Put the, put the FDF lens on. God. Is it, there was one. <laughs> and maybe I should save it for tomorrow. But whenever, uh, whenever they get a date of like a another guy with autism that isn't like a cast member, basically that's just coming in to be a blind date, right? They go over um, what their interests and dislikes are in like the most patronizing, childlike way. But there was this one guy that he's he's got like uh, like middle school boy glasses and a black button down shirt <laughs> and long black hair, and it's like. <laughs> Jonathan likes World War II history facts. And this, like, this is, like, you know what kind of guy this is, you know? They, they won't get into the details, and it's like, there's like yeah. this subtext, the, like, oh, they're, they're, waiting for the, they're, they're waiting for the mid-season reveal that it's all Nazi paraphernalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that the guy that was in the other seasons, Don? No, he was a new, he was just like a date for that animator chick, I think. It is, it is funny how often, like, the extreme or Autists, you always catch some like vibes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the, the, do not make the cut, obviously, but you just, you know, you know, you know what kind of guy this is. <laughs> yeah. There's, that, there's that one guy who, like, I, there was, it was so funny. He's, I can't, he's that, like, it's kind of Italian guy, whatever. Obviously, they're all Australian, but he's like, do you know what I'm talking about? Short, kind of fat, black I'm hair. To, I'm trying to remember. But, I, but this this is so the many American things, season like, we've been looking at. I don't know, but he's like, he goes to dinner with his, you know, his new girl or whatever. And she's like, yeah, uh, I want to visit, visit Auschwitz. And like the look on his face, he's just like, oh God. And then it like cuts to like, he, you know, David decided to take his date to a Hindu temple because he likes Hindu temples. And it cuts to like the Hindu swastika. And you're like, wait a second. Like, what are, what are we? I, am I connecting dots or are they like? I don't. I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they have to, you know, they, they pick those people, contracts are signed. It's like, all right, you're sort of the star of this season. So <laughs> we should have gotta... looked in David's room before we uh, <laughs> so, let him sign the contract. <laughs> He has a rather can we, can interesting peek around? Of coins. <laughs> a collection of coins. <laughs> coins and signet rings. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was trying to find this TikTok I saw. I was like, it'd be funny if they put this guy on, but I can't find the TikTok link. David likes to collect armbands. And picking David the wings like off of bugs. <laughs> David likes to collect picking stars from 1941. <laughs> <laughs> he has quite an extensive patch collection. You're like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and he, and they, they always do shit where it's like, he's like, can I show you my, can I show you my collection? And they're like, sure. And that cuts off to a Nick scene that like they don't show it. And you're like, what, yeah, what, what just, didn't they we're show? Just, we're just doing something else. <laughs> David was expelled from the show after having problems coping. You're like, oh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess he got overstimulated or something. <laughs> Probably why he got kicked from the show. He got overstimulated. <laughs> <laughs> David was very selective about the partners he wanted to meet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not that one. No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
Well, we will watch. We will watch episode one of Love on the Spectrum America season two for the premium episode. Oh, here it is. So. Here, wait. Before but I just want you guys to can we can we get this guy on Love on the Spectrum? I just want to put this in. And just I want you guys just to watch real quick if you could. Oh wow, what a what a fucking thumbnail! <laughs> can you can you uh, can you get this guy in on <laughs> Love on the Spectrum? Hunter, could you explain what you find funny about this video? <laughs> if you had to break down what is humorous. No, no, no. That was for the boys. No one, no one gets to see that video. No one gets video. to know what this was. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs> yeah. Cream, uh, Patreon.com forward slash cream crew. Watch the Love on the Spectrum <coughs> Fight Companion season two, episode one with us. That'll be out hopefully the same day this comes out. So. We'll Why can put I it in the description in the top comment. If you have Netflix, you can watch along. We'll tell you how to do that in the episode. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next week. Bye. Bye.